The Chicago Bears have signed their last two rookies, Jervon Dexter and Tyreek Stevenson, finally under contract. What's the expectation for these two coming out this season? And who do we think will be among that rookie class that really takes that leap? We'll talk about all that more in today's episode of the Windy City Breeze Sports Talk Daily. Let's go. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So the Bears locking down their last two rookies. Uh, there was a little bit of a question mark on this. It was, it's good to hear that uh, we got this one done before training camp. Javon Dexter, 53rd overall selection, and Tyreek Stevenson have both been signed. And the thing about these two is, right, there's an expectation for these guys to be able to come out and play right off the bat. It feels like Javon Dexter is really starting to come into his own in this three-technique kind of position. Flues talked about him yesterday, stating that, you know, he, he's he's trying to retrain his brain, basically. Over the last couple of seasons, he's been a uh, two-gap style defender. And that is not the style of defense he's going to be playing here. The good thing is he's going from a two gap to a uh, penetrating style system, which when we talked to John Yerkovich, defensive lineman for the Jaguars and, uh, and the Packers, and he played in the NFL about nine years playing that penetrating style. He said, going from a two gap to a penetrating style will always be easier because you're doing what's comes naturally to you. You're pinning your ears back and your goal is not to wait and react to something happening your goal is when the ball is snapped I am going to try and kill the person with the ball whether that be the quarterback the running back whoever that is I think that we're going to see some good things out of Javon Dexter coming into this season let me know how you guys are feeling about Javon Dexter it seems like the coaches liked what they saw they liked how he's kind of developing and adapting they liked how you know he's he's he came into OTAs and into mini camp ready to work ready to uh attack uh um the, his his uh i guess retraining right on this but it's interesting because he was a guy who everybody talks about Jalen Carter. This was the other guy, right? This was Javon. Javon Dexter was the guy rated above Jalen Carter coming out of college and it just so happened that J Javon Dexter um, went to Florida where like there was a uh, what was it two coaching changes, right? His defensive system changed everything that he thought he was going into changed when he went there. And I like how he said it when he talked about it, he was like, listen, like I could have left, you know, we could have done all of that, but I committed there and I had a commitment that I wanted to see through there. I ended up seeing it through and now he's in the NFL. So I think it's good to see that he stuck it out when things got tough. I think that it's fine. It, it's, it's a good thing for the bears to see that. That, you know, when when, you know, it wasn't going the way that he was told it was going to go. He didn't just say, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to try and figure out, OK, how do I adapt to this scheme? How do I figure out this scheme, which does make him a better player in the long run? Let me know how you guys feel about Javon Dexter in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you guys as well. The other player the Bears were able to lock up was Tyreek Stevenson. Stevenson probably going to play opposite Jalen Johnson. I think that he's going to be a starter. He's been running with the ones. Um, I, I think that they brought him here to be a starter, second round pick and at the end of the day, he's a guy to me, good, good length, good speed. Flutes has talked about him, you know, ad nauseum uh, in some of these post-game press conferences, uh, making the right play, being in the right position, talked about how he thinks like a vet. He competes like a veteran, right? Talked about how he's already, you know, getting into the mix with the guys who are Eddie Jackson, Jaquan Brisker, Kyler Gordon, right, that are already in the building and really looking to, uh, you know, come out and, and, and have set positions this season because last season, and at that DB spot, you know, anybody could 
been playing anywhere. There was Vildor on the right side, and then, you know, Jalen Johnson's kind of just trying to figure out his way in there. He ends up getting hurt, and now it's Vildor and Gordon. We're not having that this season. Now, injuries can pop up. Again, it's good that you have the versatility, but I think that you're going to see Tyree Stevenson, the expectation on him anyway, to be the starting DB day one uh, opposite Jalen Johnson, which allows Kyler Gordon to play in the slot, which is what you brought him here for. Again, I've said this. This is this is what gets me excited about this Bears season is that people are getting to play the spot that they accentuate, that they excel at. And I think with Tyreek Stevenson's size and length, you know, he's going to be he's going to be a guy who's going to be a force on that uh, opposite side of Jalen Johnson. And I think he'll be a guy that for a long time, right, you can match up with some of those bigger body receivers, some of those guys who, you know, maybe try to overpower you. He's got the length. He's got the size. He's got the strength. Those are the things that get me excited about what Tyreek Stevenson can bring to this Bears team and hopefully will continue to bring to this Bears team. Let me know how you guys feel about Tyreek Stevenson. What are you guys' expectations on the rookie class that we have as a whole? Um, when I look at this rookie class, I am very intrigued by some of the names that are in it. I, I mean, I think that we're going to get the training camp and there's a possibility that we could see Roshan Johnson take over this running back room. Again, the Bears aren't going to want to get uh, uh, um, Justin Fields killed. Khalil Herbert has said that he's worked on his pass blocking. Deontay Foreman has said he's worked on his pass blocking. I don't want to see my running backs pass blocking every single play, but at the end of the day, it's going to come a point where you're going to be in max protect or you're going to have to stand back there and pass block. And you know what? If I've got a guy that can do it three downs out of four, I'm probably going to play that guy more times than not. I think by training camp, you're going to see a couple of plays where Justin Fields might get his head taken off if this was a real play. Because remember, you can't hit the quarterback in training camp right so it might be a hey we were gonna kill Justin on that and the coaches are gonna go uh, uh, Roshan why don't you go in there you know what I mean um so I I just I really expect to see Roshan kind of take a big step in this offense I think he's going to be a major piece for the Chicago Bears uh the other guy that I'm really excited to see from this rookie class I mean of course Darnell Wright right like he's he's seemingly slotted in at that starting right tackle spot. They haven't even asked any questions about him and he's done pretty well to this point. Again, you can't, you know, there's no pads for them to push off of. There's no way you can get leverage right now without having that pad depth and different things like that. So there is a limited way to be able to see what these guys are going out there and doing. But I think at the end of the day, when, when I look at some of this rookie class, Darnell Wright's a guy that has to show out. Um, and I think that he will. And I think that it says a lot that when people talk about Darno, right, they don't talk about him being over his head or him being overwhelmed by what's happening. Now, when you get in there, right. And it's a real NFL competition. It's not somebody who's on your team. When you got pads on, even at training camp, right. And you're simulating what this is going to look like coming on the other side. It's probably going to be a heck of a lot faster. It's probably going to be a little bit quicker for Darnell Wright. He's probably going to struggle at times a little bit, right? We heard about, uh, uh, um, uh, who, who is it? Larry Williams. Uh, why can't I think of his name right now? Uh, pass rusher. They brought in Larry Williams or Larry Johnson. One of them, um, that pass rusher that we brought in, uh, um, to play off of the edge, right. Had a day, had a day versus Darnell, Wright. Um, and then Darnell, Wright Able to fight his way back into that, but there's going to be those moments. There's going to be those moments where guys are attacking. There's going to be those moments where you look around and you're like, geez, that guy is dominating right now. Uh, so I I'm excited to see, you know, how Darnell, Wright Takes on those moments and and you know turns them into positives for himself. Okay, I figured out what that play is now. This is how I'm going to attack that. Uh, let me know what you guys' expectations are on this rookie class. Those are a couple of the rookies that you really want to see stand out on the offensive and I guess on the defensive end. Right, I talked about Tyreek Stevenson. Noah Sewell is another interesting one. I me and Courtney talked about him yesterday on the Chicago Bears podcast. Noah Sewell to me is so interesting with this Bears team because I don't know what he's going to be and it feels like he's he's pushing I don't know if he's going to push Jack Sanborn out of that position but he's getting the reps and he's doing a good job in there getting those reps right he's playing well getting those reps he's getting the Sanborn reps Sanborn should be back for training camp it'll be a, that'll be a battle that I think will be one of the more interesting ones to see when you're talking about position battles heading into uh training camp man I think that linebacker battle is going to be very very interesting would love to know how you guys feel on that man hey as always it's your boy Pat the designer back 
at it again. Good to see that we got our rookie signed. Let us know how you guys feel in the comments below. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat, the designer. Back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bears content. Click the links on the screen to check the links in the description below. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.